Hey, did I maneuver fine? <laughs> Got it, okay. It's too zoomed in. Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. My name is Kenzie, if you did not know that, now you know. And guys, today I wanted to go through and I have a haul for you. That rhymed, but I didn't really mean it to. But guys, I do have a haul. Me and my mom did go shopping uh, a couple days ago, and I did pick up a few things because uh, it is summertime, and I was wanting wanting to get some more summer stuff and some more stuff that was actually in style because I'm not really like a style person. I kind of just wear what I find comfortable and what I like, but. I did see some things that I thought I would like that were comfortable and that was in style, so that's really fun. I wanted to go through these with you, so it's a lot of stuff. So sit back and relax and um, we're going to go through this haul. So I have a few bags here, so this big giant bag. Right here is from um, from a place called Charming Charlie, and I did get a few things from here, but the rest of the bags is inside this really big bag. So it's not just this. The rest of the bags are inside this big bag. So uh, let me let me take them out. Okay, so I've got the rest of the bags out, and then we can just go from the Charming Charlie bag first. We can just dip our hand in there, and whatever I pull out, I will show to you. And then I have two other bags on the side here, um, so we can go through them whenever we're done with this. But, first thing in this bag... So I saw this bag and I thought it was really cute. I've been trying to find a bag because right now I carry a backpack, which I normally like. I love carrying backpacks because you have both arms free, it's not too heavy, and it doesn't put too much pressure on one side. But I saw this one and I love purses that are shaped like this, like that are like this square bottom and like on the sides and it's just this pretty gray color it'll go with anything and I just thought it was so pretty and it's not super expensive so I don't think I spent a lot of money on them or anything but it's got like this nice inside here with a zip but yeah I picked up this purse just because I really really liked it it's gonna go with everything and I really wanted one that was kind of this shape it reminds me of a Birkin if you know what a Birkin is I'll have it right here if you don't know what a Birkin is. They're very expensive handbags but they're really nice. So it kind of reminds me of a Birkin so I don't know. I really thought it was really cute so I picked this up. Next thing I got from there was this shirt. It is like a cute little tank top. It's kind of like a... I don't know. How, how do you call this? How do you... what do you call this type of... like a... just like a cutoff like a no sleeve t-shirt something like that but it's very it's really thin material but it's so pretty and it says cosmic dreamer on it because I definitely am and I got this on clearance which was great so I thought this was really really cute it fit really nicely on me and I really like just like graphic t-shirts I'm very simple when it comes to my dress normally I usually just wear things that are quite easy just quite simple to throw on nothing too difficult but I thought this was really cute it goes all the way down right here and it has a little flap to cover your booty so I like that a lot and I will 100% be wearing this a ton because it's just it's really nice it's really nice and soft and it feel it would be very comfortable on next thing I picked up was now this is really cool I thought it was super cute so this is a it's kind of like a sweater, but it has like, so it's like this, but the sleeves are cut out of the side right here. And it's in this really pretty peachy pink coralish color, if you can see that. And I thought this was so cute when I had it on and I just loved it. Again, it goes all the way down. It's not as long as the other one but it's just so nice and I feel like even if you were going out somewhere not like a nighttime out but like if you were going somewhere like running some errands or something like that it would be really nice and it would keep you semi warm but 
you know, the cutouts, or if you're just chilling around at home. It would be really, really uh, comfortable and really nice for that. So I picked this up because I really liked it. If you've never been into uh, Charming Charlie, it is so cool. Every single thing they have in there, like every single section, they, it is arranged by color. So when you walk in, you'll see like reds and it'll have everything red and then as you walk to the left or right it'll change and you'll get to yellow orange blue kind of goes down the rainbow it's really cool everything is sectioned off by color and everything has like shirts pants purses accessories like drinking cups wine glasses it's really cool so if you are, if you've never been into Charming Charlie, or if you don't have one, um, then I, it's really cool. Try to go somewhere that, that it does have one. But if you do have one around you, you just never been into it. I would highly recommend you going into there because it's really cool. And then the last thing I picked up in Charming Charlie was not a is not a clothing item, but I found these and I've wanted to try this for so long. And this is a skin. It's a skin mask I think that's what it's called but it's just it's a mask that you put on your skin and it's made in Korea and it's a Korean skincare mask which I think is adorable and it's shaped like a little tiger that's so flippin cute I love it. it is what it looks like on the back so as you can see pretty much everything is in Korean and it well actually not this one but there was a couple other ones that I saw where everything all the packaging was in Korean so it's really really cool and it's so cute it's a little tiger so I'm really excited to try this and I've wanted to try one of these for a really long time so when I saw it I snagged it up and I don't even know how much that was how much was that four dollars so it's not too bad so that was all from Charming Charlie next I went into Macy's right here. I only got one thing from Macy's, but it's really cute. So I've been seeing a lot of people, they just have like these plain basic uh, t-shirts on, but they have like these little like, not embroidered, but like decals on the boob area. And I thought it was so cute. So I saw a couple of these and I thought this one was the cutest one. And it has little watermelon slices on the booby area. This was so cute. And it's literally just a plain white t-shirt. Just all the way down to the bottom, a plain white t-shirt, but then when you get up here, it's got little watermelon slices. I love it. I loved it when I tried it on. I thought it was the cutest thing ever, and I'm obsessed with it. I'm going to be wearing these so much, and I think with this style of t-shirt, you roll up the sleeves, so it just it looks really cute. I'm really excited to really play around with this and see what I can do with it, but yeah, I picked this up at Macy's. Now moving away from clothing for just a second, I did pick up one thing that is kind of like homeware, kitchenware. Now I went into Williams Sonoma, if you have a place like that, it's really cool. And I picked up this wine glass. I don't know what it is. Can you see it? I don't know what it is about wine glasses, but I think they are the prettiest glasses in the world. I don't even drink that much wine. I normally drink beer if I'm gonna have anything, but these are just so nice and I love how big they are. And I have this one and I like weird shaped wine glasses also. So I have this one that I got from Target like two days ago, like two or three days ago. Um, I got both of these very close together, but this one is the one from Target and it's kind of like almost triangular if you will, if that makes any sense. But it's so cool and it has like this big open bottom that you just drink out of it. You can put whatever you want into it. It don't have to be wine. I've been drinking water out of this just because I'm bougie. <laughs> but um, this is so cool. But this is the one that I got at Williams Sonoma and I love this. It looks like a fish bowl and it just looks so cool. This was $13 at Williams Sonoma and this one at Target was it doesn't tell me but I think it was seven dollars is anybody like that do you just like the look of really nice wine glasses and you just don't know what else to do with them you just like the look of them let me know I'm weird so I have a little side story to tell you before we get back into the clothing I me and my mom we walked into Nordstrom which I love going into Nordstrom they have like so many amazing things and I tried on my first pair of Louboutins I've never tried on Louboutins I'm not gonna buy any right now because I can't they're very expensive but 
I tried them on and I loved them so much. If I can find a picture, I'll put it right here as to which ones that I tried on. I loved them so much. I know Louis Vuittons are not known as for being the most comfortable, but man, those red bottoms were beautiful. And I, I told myself at that day, I told myself and my mom, I said to her, I said, mom, I'm going to buy these shoes one day. I'm going to be able to afford these shoes one day and like buy a, a lot more of them. I was just like, I want them so bad. And like, I just, I'm, I'm so motivated. Like I'm so like dead set. Like I'm so tunnel visioned on wanting to get those shoes. I don't know why. I don't know why I love those shoes. I don't know where I'd wear them to unless I went to like, like a bunch of fancy places, but I don't do that currently. But I really just want those shoes. I want them so bad. So I will buy them one day. One day I will have them and they'll be mine. And I'll be very excited. Back on to the clothes now. I went into Express. I love Express. Now I got two, uh, I got a bag stuff right here. And I also got two things that were put in one of those like dress bags, the super, super long ones. And they're not dresses, but they're as long as dresses. But let's start with the bag stuff first here. So I have been wanting one of these for a super long time. I think they're so pretty. And I found one here and this is a like a spaghetti strap tank top, really loose red tank top like that's literally all it is but I love this I love this style I love this like really pretty like flowy type of fabric I just think it's so cute and then it's super it's not super long but it's long enough to like cover your entire torso and like you know it's 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 the proper length but I think it's so pretty I've seen a lot of other people wear these um, and I just I love them so whenever I saw this I grabbed it immediately because it's like that's one of the things that I went to the mall for like this type of shirt this type of really nice tank top is what I went to the mall for and I found one I found one that I really, really like, so I'm very, very happy about that. Next, I got, this is awesome, and this is a sweater. I know it is mid-July, or like the end of July, but this is so cool, and I think they're kind of transitioning into like fall stuff at this point, but this is a massively oversized sweater, and it is so cool. If you can see the design on it, I can't even see. It's like EXP, and it has like... A bunch of different really cool stuff on it it's so big it's taken up the entire viewfinder so but it's really nice it is a full full length full sleeve sweater and then what you're supposed to do with these is that you put it on you wear like shorts or pants with it usually preferably jean shorts that's how the model was and then you just roll up these sleeves you just like shove them up and it looked really really cool on like it looked super like obviously very comfortable it's a sweater but it just looked really cool without being like too hard you know it just looked it looked fashionable without being like too uncomfortable but I'm very excited this one's really cool I may actually put this one on right now I did I put it on I just really, I really wanted to put it on again it's so cool and I'll show you it's just this really big material here and then you just shove up the sleeves like that I think it's gonna get super hot right now because I'm you know there's a lot of lights on me and it may get super hot but I want to wear it for the time being because I really like it next thing I picked up was one of the super long things and this is a beautiful red cross it's like a crossbody yeah it's like a crossbody super long it is a pantsuit I thought this was so pretty when I put this on when I tried this on and funny story so I would try this on and my mom was going around the store trying to find other things for me to try on and then just a person walked up to me and said do you work here? And I said, no, I don't. And he goes, well, you're dressed super nicely. So I wasn't sure. And I was, I was just wearing this. I was just trying it on. And it's so pretty. I love it so much. I may need to find like a nice belt to cinch it in right here because it fits really well. I just think a belt might bring it all together. But I love the pantsuit. I love these. 
I love these so much. So I picked this up right here. It's so long, I can't even get it in shot. And the last thing I got from Express is my favorite thing that I got. And it is another pantsuit, but it is black and it is form-fitting to a T. It's gonna hug you and it's absolutely beautiful. It has a very, very wide leg at the bottom here. I love this so much. Very nice, very cinched in waist here. So when I put it on, it went like it clung. So I was very, very happy with that. And then I'm trying to roll it up a little so you can see. And then here how is how long it is. It is floor length. And again, it is another pantsuit, as you can see right here. Absolutely beautiful. This is my favorite thing that I got, I think. It's so pretty. I am gonna wear this so much, just if I can in the future. I just, I'll wear this just like to Target if I have to, it's so pretty. Um, but yeah, this is the last thing that I got. It zips in the back all the way down and it's gorgeous. It's so great. If you, uh, if you guys see anything um, that you like in this haul, there is all of this stuff is in Express right now. So if you like any of this, it is definitely in the store. And now we are on to the very last place. Can you guess where I went? Just take a wild guess. I'll give you five seconds. Did you guess right? Did you put it in the comments? Yeah, I went to Sephora. I know, I know, I can't not go to a makeup place whenever I leave the house. It's, I know, I get it. But I did go in there, nevertheless, and I did walk out with a few things. Um, so the first thing that I picked up at Sephora, and I've already used this, so don't hate me too much. I picked up a beauty blender. So I picked up this one, the blue one right here I have I saw this one and here's what it looks like by the way it's dirty already since I used it to do my makeup today so I picked up this blue one because I thought it was super pretty and I have only used one other beauty blender in the past and it was the original pink one so and it's very old I had to throw it away so I haven't had one since and I wanted to pick this one up and I love it already. It, I did my makeup with it today and it looks super nice. My makeup looks great. So I picked one of these up to, to try it again, just replace my other one. The next thing I picked up was the new Buxom Pillow Pout lipstick. And if you know, if you've seen this, I did already do a first impressions video of this. I did it first. So that is actually what I have on my lips right now. But this is absolutely amazing. If you've not tried this before, I would highly recommend it. Basically, if you, did, if you didn't see the previous video, um, this is a lipstick that comes out as a powder and then basically magically transforms into a lipstick on your mouth. It is really cool. So here is what it looks like once you unscrew it. It's like a little sponge and it's so cool. And I actually swatched it right here uh, previously. So if you like that color, this is that color. <laughs> so I picked this up and this wasn't even out on display yet. Like I asked the ladies uh, at Sephora, I said, do you have the new Buxom um, powder lip stuff? And they were like, oh, we may actually have it. It's in the back. And they were, they brought it up to me. They brought me all the shades and I picked this one out because I was so excited. Um, but it wasn't even on, out on display yet. So very excited to have this. If you haven't seen the other video, I have it right here. So you can go watch it, it's really cool. And then the very last thing that I picked up in this haul is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer in the shade Tantastic. Now I have seen this everywhere. Everyone and their mom has talked about this bronzer. And I wanted to know what the deal was. I wanted to try it. It's Marc Jacobs, so it is very expensive. I do believe, let me look at the recipient. This was, $49, so it is not cheap for a bronzer, but I've heard so many good things about this guy here. Here is what the packaging looks like. Very, very simple, very clean. I love Marc Jacobs packaging, like, like more than anything. And then it has the little silver bobble on the front here. I was not able to get the rose gold little bobble, but 
obviously I think that one is like never going to be available again but I was super excited to try this. This was like the last one that they had and I felt like it was fate. So here's let's open it up. Here's what it looks like. It's absolutely massive. Like it's huge and I, this is actually what I'm using on my face today for bronzer. So two of these three products, actually all three of them at this point I have already used. Um, but this is the bronzer that I did uh, pick up because I really wanted to use it and see what it was like. I gotta say, I like it. I like it a lot. It's been the first time that I've used it so it's not, you know, I can't really say too much about it, but first time, I really like it. So if you are in the market for a new bronzer, a Marc Jacobs bronzer, I would recommend this one because it's great. But yeah, guys, that is going to be my clothing slash makeup slash homeware haul today. I really hope that you did enjoy it. It was so much fun for me to film. I'm going to go ahead and leave the video here. If you liked it, then go ahead and click that like button for me and then subscribe if you want to. If you want to see the videos that I post and when I post them, click the little bell down at the bottom there. Again, my name is Kinsey. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you on Sunday. Bye-bye.